Hey, what's going on there, Dice Rolls? Paul here, and I'll be your DM for a while. And today I want to talk to you about something that's been on my mind, and that is psionics. And today I want to talk to you about psionics and how to make it more flavorful and to differentiate it from magic. If you're not familiar with psionics, are psionics are powers of the mind. Think Jean Grey, maybe from the X Men. And psionics has been kind of in and out of the genre, you know, not a lot published about it. Uh, it was kind of big early on, third edition, and even in the first edition. Uh, and then it kind of reappeared in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything and in the form of subclasses such as the Psy Warrior or the uh, for Fighters and the Soul Knife for Rogues, which that's an old class, and then the Aberrant Mind for Sorcerers who use psionic points. But sadly, only the Sorcerer had a random chart to decide how these powers came about and how they manifest themselves. But by the end of the video, I hope to give you uh, a few more things and a few more ways for your character to have a little more flavor and maybe how they got their powers and how they manifest. Now, what sparked this whole thing with me with Psionics? Well, right around the time that I got into D&D, I saw a movie called Firestarter in 1984. And I love this movie because even though I had not discovered psionics in D&D yet, I knew I wanted to make a character like Charlie, played by Drew Barrymore, or her father, Andrew, played by David Keith. This movie did so many things well to flesh out the believability of the character's psionic powers that I thought they could do the same maybe for your character. So what could Charlie do? Charlie uh, could set things and people on fire. <laughs> she could raise the temperature in the room. She could melt warp metal. She could um, uh, heat a boil water. She could melt blocks of ice. She could make things or people explode or implode. Uh, she could shoot fireballs from her mind. And her father, well, her father could mind control other people, command, uh, manipulate mechanical objects like getting coins from a payphone. And there's so much within this movie that takes psionics and makes it super flavorful. So what makes it flavorful and what can you take from that to be able to use in your game to make your characters more flavorful that have psionics? Well, first thing is emotions. Charlie in the movie was a little girl, eight or nine years old, and her ability to start fire was her choice, but were accentuated by her emotions. What kind of emotions could start the fire of your character's ability? Is it anger? Is it sadness? Is it anxiety? Charlie's emotions, mostly anger, magnified her emotions. Emotions to me are like wild magic. Things can get out of control if you don't control your emotions. Choose something that you have to get under control and possibly have to roll a con save to keep it from getting away from you. I think there could be a feat called emotional release and could be the equivalent of like Barbarian's Rage, but with your mind. Another thing that made psionics flavorful that was also in the movie was like in poker, uh, they had a tell. Your psionics can have a tell. With Charlie, an invisible wind or energy would blow through her hair and she would start to sweat a little bit. For Andrew, he would grab his head and his nose would start to bleed. Now, these are reactions to powers being activated, but not all the tells have to be cool. They could also be flaws. You can make the flaws a normal part of the character or whatever happens if you want to push your luck and use psionics beyond your energy, beyond your psionic points. And here's a few ideas of how you can do that. Here's some psionic tells flaw. You can roll it on a d20 and uh, I'm going to give you just a few, right? You can get the nosebleeds and headaches. You can get a migraine, uh, a halo of light all around your body, um, dizziness, uh, exhaustion. You could throw up. Uh, you could get gas. You get weak legs, right? And those are just a few things you could do. I, I have a full list and I'll tell you about how to get the full list here in just a second. But Another thing you could do to generate more flavor for your character that uses psionics is how did you get your powers? You can roll a d10 for this, like on a random table. And some of the things could be, well, you could get it through supernatural means. Um, you can get it through a personal curse or a blessing. Who gave you the curse? Who gave you the blessing? It could be alchemy. It could be from drugs. You could be born with them. Uh, you could be dead and then resurrect and have these powers. So there's a lot that you can do with psionic powers that would give your character even more flavor and really add some narrative to the story. Because what happens if you start to get angry and you have incredible amounts of gas while you're trying to subdue these powers and suddenly you just, it's uncontrollable. Well, I think that makes for some fun if you're trying to be quiet and trying to sneak into somewhere and suddenly there's gas and there's not only the sound, 
but the smell. So listen, those are just a few ways that I think psionics could be used in a more flavorful way. If you've not seen the movie Firestarter, I encourage you to go watch it. The old one, the old one, by the way, the original, 1984, not the new one. The old one with Drew Barrymore. It's the much better film. Uh, so yeah, I would love to hear from you. Have you seen Firestarter? Do you use psionics in your game? How do you make them more flavorful? How do you differentiate them from magic? Listen, if you want some of my lists, by the way, I do have a sub stack. Uh, I'll put that down in the show notes there and you're welcome to get that. And then it has all, it has the roll table on there uh, for both the flaws and also how you got your power. So if you want something like that, uh, you can go check out the articles for yourself and then subscribe if you would like to, because I occasionally put out some articles. So if this is your first time here, by the way, thank you for being here. Appreciate you being a part. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. That tells me you like this video and you want more of them. So that is it for today, everybody. Have a great day and don't forget to control your mind powers today. Have a great day, everybody.